Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel DC Universe Classics Wave 18. This is Figure 1, Black Vulcan. Vulcan looks to be including the left leg of Apache Chief and along with all the other DC Universe figures this is for an adult collector however you want to perceive that on the back of the package a picture of Black Vulcan up at the top corner there all the other figures that make up the DC Universe Wave 18 uh, we have Black Vulcan, El Dorado, Toy Man, Captain Boomerang, Samurai and Bronze Tiger Collect all six, and you can build your very own Apache Chief. Looking fantastic. As for the biography, a devoted member of the Super Friends, Black Vulcan's courage and character are undeniable. Although he keeps his identity and personal life to himself, he is trusted implicitly, but implicitly by his teammates. Some speculate that he might be a scientist, especially since he has used his powers to spot weld microelectronic circuits, but not even Batman feels the need to investigate him. A first appearance the all-new Super Friends Hour, September 1977, one of the only few times that I've seen a first appearance as an actual cartoon, and rather that of uh, a comic appearance. His real name is unknown, occupation is hero, base of operations, hall of justice, special abilities, can project electricity, convert body into pure energy, fly at light speed, and create electromagnetic time warps. I am going to take a bit of a break, I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at figure one, Black Vulcan. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Your figure piece that comes with Black Vulcan is the left leg of Apache Chief. So what we'll do is we'll bring in Apache Chief as to where we've completed him so far. We're going to take the left leg and we're going to snap it into place. That seemed to snap in a lot easier than I was expecting. And uh, we are now three pieces away from finishing Apache Chief. I can't wait. Moving that aside, having a look... Well, we're almost finished one superpowers or super friends. Let's have a look at this super friend. Um, I bet, um, Black Vulcan, I was going to call him Apache Chief. Black Vulcan actually is pretty decent. For some reason, he has a little bit of slick. You see that right there? I think there's a little bit of, um, I think they put, a, sometimes they put a little bit of lubrication in the actual joints. And uh, I feel like there might be a little bit of excess residue that might have been left uh, aside. You can see there's a little bit of this. I don't see anything on this side. I guess it was just that one area. Um, his face is iconic to that of the uh, his appearance in Super Friends. Um, it's a little strange. Yeah, okay, he's got kind of yellow boomerangs on the side of his head. But uh, that's that's how he was in the cartoon, so not too bad at all. Uh, I think his face as a whole is done really, really well. Uh, sometimes yellow on black doesn't always work as you have some bleeding may, uh, may occur. You see a little bit of the yellow has carried over into the black and some of the black into the yellow. It's never a, a clear, clean job. It's always a little bit a little off, but it's all right. Uh, gloves are done really, really well. I also like the fact that there's that little bit of darker yellow on his knuckle area here. Uh, you can also see clearly where the the gloves have ended, uh, unlike El Dorado, which just again looked like it was just painted on and willy nilly. Um, his skin tone is done really really well. It also carries into his legs going on there, and nice bright yellow boots. Um, the one thing, unfortunately, being that this is such a super friend, superpowers heavily uh, a carried line. We get accessory pieces, of course we get the Collect and Connect pieces, but uh, why could we not have gotten actual Super Friends display stands? We've gotten them in the past, um, and generally for Super Friends themed characters, uh, they always come with a display stand, and yet, so far, nothing. Between El Dorado and Black Vulcan here, we have gotten Squat. Now, Black Vulcan does come with accessories, though. He does come with these little energy... 
I don't know how you want to, little energy spheres or little energy clip-ons that you can clip onto his arm. Um, I believe they are carried over from the blue and red Superman that also had these respectively. Um, kind of give, of course, just a little bit of added uh, ele electricity to having your black Balkan displayed. I think that it works rather well and having something like these reused is not a big deal. I mean, obviously there's a lot of characters that could utilize that. But really, display stand. Hello, display stand would have been nice. It would have been nice indeed. I'm just taking these off. These are a soft rubber and actually they feel even softer than the ones that were included with Superman or with the Superman. So, uh, I don't know, maybe they've used different materials. This one's, this one's a lot more the consistency of like a gummy. Mm, gummy bears would be nice right about now. Uh, in, the way, in the way of his articulation, Black Vulcan has your standard variety DC Universe body. So he has the ball jointed head. He has the pin and socket shoulders, which rotate all the way around and out. Rotation all the way around in the bicep, a single bend in the elbow. Rotation in the hand upper torso bend, rotation waist, legs go forward and back, out, rotation in the thigh, a bend at the knee, and finally, you guessed it, hinged foot. Um, again, I probably would stress this to, uh, to collectors out there, um, or probably collectors would know anyways. Um, problems with, of course, figures like this is because they are so heavily uh, inspired by appearances that they were in. Unless you grew up or unless you followed the medium that this was depicted from, you likely would have just passed on Black Vulcan. Um, I grew up with Super Friends, Challenge of the Super Friends, and whatnot. So, I mean, this for me is nice to add to my collection, but I think as an outside collector who is just kind of looking at the DC Universe as a whole, likely could have passed on Black Vulcan and maybe could have just passed on this line as a whole, maybe only collecting the, the Boomerang and maybe Toy Man, even though Toy Man was really in there as well. Um, I think as a whole, this figure works really, really well and he's done very, very well that I'm going to give him an 8. Um, but the thing is, again, and maybe that's why some of these toy lines just sit on the shelves, unless you're catering to everybody, there's probably just too small of a market, I think, picking these up that grew up with this that they probably would have sold as well as they could have. Anyways, today we were at today's Toy Spot. We're having a look at the figure one from the DC Universe Wave 18 Apache Chief. We're looking today at Black Vulcan. A nice figure really, again, could have used a display stand. Stick around, guys. There are more DC Universe Wave 18 reviews heading your way. I'll see you guys next time.